If you've been banned on Facebook, I'm going to give you a couple of tips right now to recover a disabled Facebook ad account and what steps you should be taking and also what exact methods you should be doing before you get completely restricted. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this. My name is Jason Wojo. I run an eight-figure SMMA, and I want to give you all the value on a daily basis because we post every single day. Also, we post five-plus shorts a day, so make sure you subscribe. It's completely free. It helps us pump out more videos, and it funds the value. First things first is before you even think about, do I, you know, use another person's Facebook? Do I go buy a Facebook account? Whatever the case may be. There's only certain things that I can go over this video for compliance reasons. Um, so make sure that you obviously pay attention because I'm going to try to give you as much value as possible. So first things first, before you even think about how do I recover my Facebook account, let's actually go over some really key compliance measures that you should be taking when you do have a Facebook account that is running. Okay. So first things first is before you even think about, Hey, am I going to get banned? And, you know, am I on the cusp of getting banned? Here's a couple things you should realize. When you're writing Facebook copy, when you're making creatives, here's a couple things to stay away from. Number one is do not use the words you and your in possessive fashions. So talking about your money, your body, your weight, all these things that you're making possessive, stay away from. Second thing is don't have a lot of flashy colors or scammy looking colors, a lot of yellow, red, bright shit that looks scammy. Stay away from that in your ads and your landing page as well. Number three is the shorter the landing page, the better. So you can hide a lot of the uncompliant things in a video, but obviously not in the first 30 to seconds to one minute of that video. Okay. So if you're running a VSL, you don't want to put a lot of uncompliant shit in the first 30 seconds. Okay. So making big, bold claims, showing a lot of exotic cars, women, stuff like that is obviously not compliant as well. Talking about weight, talking about trimming fat, talking about things that are just massively uncompliant for the Facebook ad platform. Fourth is make sure your business manager is verified. If you are running ads on a business manager that is new, that is unverified, you are more susceptible to getting banned. Okay. Do not just run the ads because you're like, Oh, my ad, my, my ad accounts active. I can get away with it. Odds are you can't. Okay. Number five is don't try to spend too much money too fast. Okay. Because if you're not up to that $900 billing threshold on Facebook, you're more susceptible to getting banned. And when you're more susceptible to getting banned, you have more eyeballs on you. Don't just take your ad account from 50 bucks a day to a thousand dollars a day within a week, really span it out. Focus on those ad sets, focus on that budget distribution, focus on that allocation. That's actually going to be scalable and profitable. Don't just spend a bunch of money so you can get a bunch of data faster on a new ad account, especially number six is going to be. If you have a personal ad account right now, add that personal ad account to your business manager because that's more, you know, compliant. It's less subtle getting shut down. If you make a new business ad account and you add a new card number right away, you cannot do uncompliant shit. Okay. Make very passive claims. Don't show a lot of body parts. Don't do before and afters. Don't call out certain age groups. Those are things that become possessive in the Facebook ad algorithm because there is one. Okay. You need to be more compliant when you're running Facebook ads right now. More subtly getting shut down going into the new year. A lot of business managers, ad accounts get shut down this time of year. So please be careful. Now, if you do get disabled, understand that the best way to really take care of that ticket is going to be through starting a chat. Don't just go to the request a review button and click request a review and just let Facebook's AI take care of it. You got disabled for a reason. Maybe the AI misfired, but you should go into a chat first and get a rep on it and explain on the issues so that you're more subtle to getting reactivated. Don't just click request a review and then do that because that's going to make you get banned more likely. Because if you're depending on an AI robot, I know AI is cool and it's sexy and it's automated, but it's not always going to be a human looking at it. Okay. And that's better. So put it into manual review, not just request a review, go start a chat with a rep and explain to the rep the issue and actually go through those steps first. Another thing is make sure your Facebook pages and et cetera, actually have authority and posts and likes. So what I mean by that is if you're making a new Facebook page, you start running ads to it, make sure that you run page like ads to start it. Warm up the ad account correctly. Don't just run purchase 
or lead conversion campaigns right off the rip. Make sure that you warm that Facebook account up with page likes. Get that page a couple thousand likes, run some ad spend to it, build compliance, show Facebook's AI that you are actually reputable and that you can be trusted and they'll let you run other campaigns moving forward. Don't just go straight for the kill and run lead conversion and purchase conversion right off the rip. Okay. In the beginning of your Facebook ad account, if you do get to the point where you're ready to run purchase and lead conversions, run short copy. Don't just run long form copy with all these different claims in it and storytelling and, you know, obviously trying to run direct response ads. You need to be running shorter copy to build Facebook's compliance. Don't just run videos right off the rip, run images. These are all small behaviors that I've learned after running over $20 million in ad spend that I know works. So do not try to go so bold in the beginning of your Facebook ad account being new. As far as recovering an ad account, personally, what I would do is if you have a disabled ad account, odds are it's probably your personal ad account. You have the accessibility to make another business ad account within your business manager. Make that ad account first, build compliance, then put that ad account into review because now it's going to show to Facebook, hey, listen, this ad account got banned, but he has another one that's running very, very well. You have two chances at it. You can't mess it up. Don't just feel the need because your ad account's disabled that you have to request a review right away. Get that second ad account running, build compliance, build that you know relationship with Facebook and show them that you are a reputable media buyer or advertiser so that you do have that claim when you're inside your chat talking to that rep. So those are just some things that I've learned over recovering Facebook ad accounts. You know, there are other routes that you can take, which I can't get into in this video for compliance reasons, but inside of my agency accelerator group, I go over these methods that if it is a last resort and it gets completely restricted and your personal gets restricted, I can help you. So please click the first link in the description. I'm going to help you land your first client. And also it's an eight week program and it's less than hundred bucks. So click the first link in the description and I can help you out tremendously. So please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe for these tips. These are things that I've learned over the past four to five years, spending over $20 million on a Facebook ads and other ad platforms. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.